onshore wind is the cheapest new capacity you can buy. And 20 years ago, you could have been excused for saying, well, that is unlikely to happen because we think that we have kind of done all the technical innovation we could, and yet it ended up being the cheapest new capacity. And the root cause of that is industrialization. Almost all the projects we are doing today are special. It's a special substation, it's a special foundation, it's an installation method that looks like, but still is special compared to what we did on the last project. And there we are still in the grips of oil and gas, and we are not in the grips of industrialization in the, the real source way of the next quantum leaps offshore. That is to take the processes and the mindset that we know so well from the onshore world and say, we don't, the mindset is basically to say, I don't accept the premise or the assumption that offshore is so different that you cannot use that thinking. I basically say the value add of using that thinking and getting to these low cost per kilo, you will end up having structures that cost not the four or five euros that you pay now for a jacket, but one and a half, two euros that we should pay, and which is what you pay for onshore towers. Why should I pay more than that? Same applies for substations, same applies for the cable arrangements. The, the whole thing is to apply methods and processes that allow us to industrialize. Once we say we want that to happen, that's where we have the future quantum leap in the offshore Then, course. Ten days ago or so, Vattenfall came out on the Danish near shore, and their offer for the 350 megawatts in the North Sea is not 115 cents, it's not 10, it's 8 for a project to be built in 2020. So somebody is now offering the government to build projects where they can live with an energy price of 8 cents per kilowatt hour, even though all the world's biggest experts, <coughs> 163 kings of the road on sinking on onshore, on offshore, predicted that in 2020 we would be at 15 cents. And what they do there, I, I, I'm not an insider, I don't know how Vattenfall and Dong think, but my estimate is that they will be thinking, this will happen anyway. So we need to bid like this to make it work. It works on the turbine side. And now we look with our cold eyes at the supply chain of the rest and say, guys, you need to make us deliver at that price. I think that is what is happening. And I don't think that is wrong. I think it's right. Because I think this is not a matter of not having the technologies or not understanding the effects of waves or whatever. It's a matter of applying simple, rational, thinking on the industrialization and that simple rational thinking is let's look at somebody who's already doing it very successfully well it happens actually to be ourselves because the onshore branch by the hell shouldn't we be able to do that also so that's my uh, comment to the quantum leaps there was that big one in 1991 the biggest of them all actually doing it it was done in a in a matter that turned out to be technically successful but of course commercially not viable I think that we are now seeing people who are actually thinking, having the right mindset, and I think any of us who work in the offshore could do that because we don't need to invent anything. We don't need to create any new technologies. We just need to apply in a smart way technologies that our peer who works onshore is already doing very successfully.